Hi guys, welcome to the video on the quant section. In this quant section is going to be more lengthy, more time consuming. It's not going to be very very difficult, but yeah, it's going to be time consuming. Same goes for the DI as well. So 50 mark paper is going to be breaker, is going to be a speed breaker and going to be a challenge to solve them. So in this video, I'm going to bring you 10 different things you have to take care of when solving the quant section of the CET paper. Yeah. So please learn from these things so that you can improve that. So first thing first you have to download the CET paper. So download please down, download last year's CET paper from cetking.com slash CET so that you know or you can feel or you can see all those changes in the paper, all these 10 things in the CET paper as I talk to you in this video. Alright. At number 10 is data interpretation. So DI main challenge which you'll be seeing in CET paper this year is going to be multiple charts. So don't expect single bar chart, single pie chart. So there will be always a combination of charts. There will be some single questions, but some of them will be double pie charts. So I have to look at the data here, then to look at the data here and then solve the question. Fine, so which is going to take time. All right, so that's your number one point is the multiple diagrams. Number two problem which you will face while showing the DI questions is going to be the calculations. You look at the options here, 9.375, 13.45, 75.15, and 73.75 so I can feel from the option that question is going to be time consuming it's going to be calculation density fine so DA section is in CT is always famous for calculation intensive questions fine so instead of giving you a question like what is 20% of 30 so which is easy to calculate they'll give you what is 21.3 percentage of 33.39 the fall to me they'll add calculations Fine, so you have to be very very conscious when doing these calculations. Number three point when you are doing uh, for the quant section is going to be PNC probability. Like question number six and seven here. So PNC probability is going to be there for two marks. So which is going to be a challenge to solve. Fine, but I do recommend solving them because there are the level of difficulty is going to be easy. So if you are a seating student, you should go through all my videos on PNC probability and do solve them in the exam. In case you are very weak in PNC probability, don't do anything, just see my videos. Just go through the video, there will be more than sufficient. Fine, so this is pointer number three, PNC probability. Point number five is going to be data comparison question. For example, let's look at question number 21. X is the area of a circle with radius eight and Y is the area of the square with sides 15 is would the option follows x is less than y greater than y equal to y so you have to find the relationship fine question are going to be there on data comparison <clears throat> all right so this is a pointer number four yeah five questions of data comparison all right pointer number five is going to be the size of the quant question for example look here in question number 35 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Every question of quant is going to be lengthy question. Don't expect a single one line question which is easy to solve. So you, reading this question will take you 30 seconds. Fine. The quant section is going to be lengthy questions. They are easy. While solving they are very easy. But it's time taking. Yeah. Point number five, time consuming mass question. So it will be around 15 question, which are going to be there for waste your time. Moving to the next part is data sufficiency. Five questions based on data sufficiency. Easy to solve, but time consuming. Size, again, big size question, data sufficiency. And that's your point number six. Point number seven is a new kind of question which is introduced in CET, which is based on caselet. For example, here in this case, let you have to read all the data, understand the case, let then convert that into a table and then solve the questions. It's time consuming, but so instead of giving a direct label, they give you a case, let which you have to solve. Point number seven. All right, point number eight is percentages. A lot of questions will be based on percentage. For example, here. 38, 39, both of them are based on percentages. 
fine so there will be four questions based on percentages so you have to practice and solve percentages questions at home fine because all the questions are going to be easy even though the size is going to be bigger but still you can solve them so percentages is there at point number eight at point number nine i have put off tables so tables in di is going to be very very lengthy fine this question was fairly simple but calculation intensive so best part of table is i don't need to waste my time in reading data everything is given clearly in front of you i just have to calculate so calculation intensive time consuming tables will be there one or two sets <clears throat> and that's your point number nine point number 10 is going to be geometry so there won't be any question on geometry per se but you will see four questions on mensuration fine which again is going to be challenge if you have not done all the formula so please go through all the formula of areas volumes circle triangle all the things because there will be four questions fine you don't need to do geometry mean chords and secants and your angles no questions purely area volumes kind of question like question number 21 here fine so that's your point number 10 all right so if we summarize the overview of the quant section so out of 50 mark paper 25 marks is going to be di which is going to be calculation intensive is what we talked about and 15 question is going to be typical quant bigger in size but normal doable to solve five question on data sufficiency which is again maths and five question on data comparison which is again maths so 25 question based on maths and 25 question based on di is your overall breakup of the quant section or if you have any more questions with me you can ask me on facebook so my link is facebook.com slash raven or if you want to join our program we have mock series shortcuts and books available for you from cdtn.com you can see by online program link on that or you can call us any of these numbers and you can join our programs all right all the best thank you